welcome to the show. Hi again, welcome to 3 Minute John. And now the news. Windows 10 update deletes files. Well, it's been a while since we talked about good old Windows 10. Things were quiet, almost too quiet for a while now. But then they rolled out the October update and proved to the world once again that Windows will stab you in the back. The new magical update version 1809 that was released last week had a bug that deleted some of the user's photos, documents and even entire profiles. Holy sh**! <laughs> it's like the Rambo of updates because it wiped everything. Uh, yeah. After this, Microsoft stopped distributing the updates and they said they will investigate the reports they've been getting from angry Windows 10 users. Where is the Windows 10 guy? Oh, well. Windows 10 oh, update for, for you? <laughs> sake. Get out. Okay, now it depends how you look at things because you could say this update is great because it freed some of your space or that it gave you a chance to do something else with your life. After you deleted the project you've been working on for a year or so and now you got fired. It's all about positive thinking. <laughs> And what do we learn from this, kids? First, always back up your data. Second, always let other people install the updates first and see how they go. Third, start saving money for a Mac. New Intel processors. On Monday, Intel had the company's fall hardware event and they launched the new chips. Including the new Core i9-9900K, which Intel says is the best gaming processor in the world. Wow, these are some high words. I mean, I always say that 3MJ is the best X channel in the universe, but you know, that, that's because it's true. There are a ton of Intel processors to choose from depending on what do you need them for or how much money you have. The 9th generation i5 with 6 cores and 6 threads that can be boosted to 4.6 GHz. The Core i7 with 8 cores and 8 threads can be boosted to 4.9 GHz. And the Core i9, 8 cores, 16 threads and can be boosted to a whopping 5 GHz. Uh, wow, that is impressive. The processors can be pre-ordered and they will be shipped starting October 90th. The prices start at 252 for the i5, 373 for the i7 and 488 for the i9. Well, AMD Ryzen's are cheaper, but I think they're slower. But then again, they're older. <sighs> they also announced the Core X processors that have more cores, more threads and cost a lot more money. A lot, a lot. And if none of these satisfy your need of power, you can wait until December when Intel will launch the W Xeon Xeon, Xeon W3175X. Why the hell is that name so complicated? They should have called it Ben. So Ben will have 28 cores, 56 threads unlocked that can boost up to 4.3 GHz. The price is yet to be announced, but is rumored to cost one lung, two kidneys and one Nike gift card. It's not gonna be cheap. I like chips. Oh, these are AMDs. Mm. The Google event. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the Google event, let's go live to John. John? Yeah, thank you, John. I'm here live from home because this event just didn't deserve a trip to the studio. Google presented three products at the event. The Google Home Hub, which is basically the Google Home with a screen and costs only $150, which I think is a decent price given the fact that you get the Google Assistant, a screen and a speaker. Then they showed off the Google Pixel Slate, which is a tablet with a very nice display. You can get an external keyboard for it, Chrome OS, and the price varies depending on the specs. It starts at $600 and goes up to $1,600 with the Intel 8th generation i7 seven processors. Yeah, but Intel just released the ninth generation. Yeah, now. And the final product, the Google Pixel Ultra. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It was the Pixel 3. And it, and it was surprising. It was surprising to see how nothing, absolutely nothing was surprising. I mean, we all seen the rumors and that was it. The whole Google Pixel 3 keynote could have been like this. Hi, the rumors were true. 
Thank you. Bye! You could have saved everyone a lot of time. The whole keynote was off key. I mean, there were so many pauses where the speakers were waiting for applauses, but they just didn't happen because people were not interested. Introducing the new Pixel 3! It's great! It's the best? Anyway, if you're interested about the specs, you can check out my previous episode or just go to store.google.com. But you know what? This phone and that notch. That notch looks like a tumor that needs an operation. There are many other phones with smaller notches that have similar or even better specs at half the price. So Pixel 3, back to you, John. Well, thank you, John. Y your room is messy. Um, yeah, guess I don't have to go to the gym. This was the show. Thanks again very much for watching. Remember, subscribe if you have and leave a comment below. Give a like. I'm John. And until next week, keep it safe and secure. Cheers. Windows 10. Windows 10 for you. What? Windows 10? Yesterday I celebrated 33 years of age and 13 years of relationship with my wife. No joke, we got together on my birthday 13 years ago. Yeah. So for the past 13 years I don't have a birthday, I have a relation celebration. And I have to buy her a gift. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to us! <sighs> but for real, I always joke about my wife being a nagging bitch, but I truly love her. Honey, I know you watch this. Love you, baby. Happy anniversary. Happy birthday to us!